Hello and welcome to this next session for the Karate Framework used in the test automation. So in this session we will see some basic activities again. So we will see some housekeeping activity. We will see how to define variable or variables. Uh, there are sometimes situation of overlapping definitions. So we will see that. Then some printing expressions. So normal print. Then Karate dot pretty Karate dot log, and some basic condition check using assert and match. So let's get started. So I am using the same same old framework which have been started in this series and let's get started now there is a background section and i have two variables here let's say a1 and a2 and some number okay and i'm using the print statement which is in double quotes or even sometimes you can use in single quotes now case one scenario is i'm just printing the value of a and uh, how do i print the value of multiple variables let's say a a1 and a2 so you can just have to put a comma before a1 comma after that and then again some other expression now if you see here def a1 equal to 22 so now a1 is already defined here but i am defining it again here now it might happen in some of the cases that there there are duplicate variable declaration declarations so in core java or in in any other language if there is a duplicate declaration that is not allowed but in this in this karate framework it will be over overlapped or will be overridden so let's get started so for now i'm just running this one scenario okay so one scenario and one is passed no skip no failure so let's see here so our scenario starts with case one starts and it is printing the value of a1 which is 55 which is okay then it is printing the combined statement that that is it is printing a1 and a2 both so if you see value of a1 is 55 comma uh, comma means it is it is basically concatenating another except uh, expression at the end of the first expression right so 5588 is printed and now you see i'm again re redefining the a1 so what it is saying overwriting existing variable a1 with new value 22 that means that means that it is not failing but it is overwriting the existing value of that variable so it is allowed and it is now printing 22 let us value is 22 is printed now let us see some other thing is two so here there is some comparison for assert statement this i've used from their website only so there is a kind of a string here which is red space there's a string here then there's a number here and now if i want to combine uh, uh, com i want to do a concatenate and compare so that i can do directly using assert assert color plus num so here it will be basically there is one string and one number so it will be combined as red underscore five and now if you see this this will combine this will combine act as as same as on the right hand side so this will pass So one scenario pass, no skip, no failures. And if you just see case two starts and that's it. After that, nothing is printed. That means the scenario is passed correctly. Yes. So now as as I can see, I can declare a variable as a string or a uh, or a value to it. A value can be assigned to it, a number can be assigned to it. Similarly, I have a JSON. So JSON is predominantly used in almost all the karate based framework in all the application and it is the the very commonly used uh, uh, format uh, in the karate framework now let's say i have this key value 
and another key and the value is is one array now let's see if i want to print it so i have a simple option is using the print statement okay then i have something called as karate.pretty and my json so karate.pretty has little more advantage for printing the json uh, sometimes there are objects uh, uh, which are which are basically in a different json format or which are not standard format so if you just use the print statement it will print it as object obj -E and if you use the karate or pretty then it will print the actual karate in a pretty format like like it will be in in a beautiful format uh, karate.log is also used to print something so let us see this So my JSON should be printed three times. Okay, so no failures. So if you see here, case three starts. Okay, so this is the first time it is printed, which is the print statement. Second time it is using karate dot pretty. So this is using karate dot pretty, and the third time it is using karate dot log. So karate dot log. So as such, in this example, you may not find any difference, but there are there are differences now instead of json uh, i can just print a, an array also or maybe a json array also so same rule applies here now i i will show one one more thing is this one so this is basically one uh, very complicated or you know nested json so that can also be printed it is just uh, something like this but it is a bit more complicated in that case you it is better to use karate.pretty as you can see this is a very large comparatively relatively a large json okay and i think same is printed here so if you see it is printed in a pretty format so the value of my json next is this one that is case 3 the case 4 case 4 is again an assert statement but this time it is basically comparing some json key values basically json values um, so you can do uh, straightforward so uh, now if you want to print the individual json uh, key uh, uh, individual json values for a particular key so you can directly say uh, the root node dot the key root node dot key or it you can go anything which is uh, nested uh, in more detail now now this is an array scores is an array so you can say the zeroth element of the first element so you can compare it here that comparison is done using assert let's run this okay so obviously the value of this array second element is not 489 it is 5 so it has failed and now let's see the failures so in the assert statement you see there is an error assert failed error and it will just say did not evaluate to true this particular statement and that's about it so at at this level in a way it is it is correct it is good but now we have one more thing called as match so let us see the match also so assert and match both are kind of similar but here if you see when asserting for expected values in json or xml always prefer using match instead of assert uh, match 
failure messages are much more deceptive and useful and you get the power of embedded expression and fuzzy matching so this i have copied from their website but let's see the actual difference so let me just run it so i am running one scenario for assert almost similar scenario for match in both the cases it will fail but we need to see the failure differences okay so both the test cases are failed now this time what i will do is i will go and open the json the the karate report uh, html file karate summary open in browser and you see the difference right so there are two scenarios one is assert failure and one is match failure so in assert you see the message is just the messages did not evaluate to true so that means that this expression did not match okay so left hand side did not match to the right hand side now let's see the match so in the match what it it is showing is it is showing the 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 little more differences that 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 if you see left hand side right hand side is number okay it is showing that what is the type of left hand side what is the type of right hand side that is not shown here sometimes it might happen that left, right hand side may be a string or uh, or a boolean and left hand side can be different so both will be shown here and then it will show the actual left hand side and right hand side values that that did not happen here if you see the left hand side value is not shown so basically assert is basically just to check whether left hand side is is you know the the condition is matching or not left hand side equal to right hand side but in the match expression in the match comparison you will get little detailed uh, explanation so yeah so most of the things are mentioned here same i have a uh, example uh, i have a included in the examples so that's it for this video thank you